Alright, would you like me to search your delivery? You are generous as you are divine. Oh, booty queens, booty queens. I don't give a damn what you're entitled to. So, if you don't like it, you can take back your food and your castle and f*** right off. You should treat books with more respect. Welcome to Mystery Pony Fiction, hosted by the Mystery Fluttershy fan. As Delicate as Petals by Even Crazier Space Dust. As rainbow lights filled the air, Pip suddenly felt something she'd never felt before. A tremendous amount of energy flowed through her wings and into her entire body, and she was filled with the overwhelming urge to fly, to just take off. She barely had to think about it before her hooves left the ground, and soon she was soaring alongside her sister, her mother, and her newfound friend, Sunny. It felt euphoric, like a miracle or a dream come true, the wind in her fluffy wings and rainbows everywhere, as though her wildest, filly fantasies had come true all at once. A loud laugh escaped her as she was overwhelmed by the pure joy of the moment, circling and gliding, coming to her as easily as running. But, as they do, all moments come to an end. The rainbows began to fade, and Zip eased Sunny to the ground as her glowing wings and horn became barely more than a hologram before it all vanished completely. And then Pip felt herself begin to wobble. Panic twisted her stomach. No, 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 this isn't right. The magic is supposed to be back now. Why is this suddenly so hard? She took a slow breath, trying to compose herself and put all the strength she possessed into keeping her wings outstretched and gliding to the ground. Just like practice with the fans, she told herself. Stumbling a little on her landing, but managing to stay upright, Pip looked up to see that her fellow Pegasi were having no such issue. Rather than being a comfort, it only made her stomach twist more. What? What's happening? Noticing her distress, Zip glided down to join her. Hey, what's wrong, Pip Squeak? Zip asked in a light-hearted tone. Zip, I still can't do it, Pip cried, once again feeling overwhelmed, but now with fear instead of joy. It feels just like the fans for me, and you know, I always needed the wires more and, and... Hey, breathe. Zip attempted to calm her sister's frantic chatter with a gentle hoof on her shoulder. You're probably just a little freaked out. Does it feel that way for you? Zip was silent for a long moment, and then the realisation of why her baby sister was so freaked out set in, and she turned her muzzle skyward. Mom! Queen Haven circled above her girls for a moment before landing beside them. What's wrong? It's Pip. She's having trouble flying, Zip said bluntly. I see. Pip did not understand why her mother's eyes were so full of guilt. Zip, go catch up with your friends. Don't say anything about your sister. Pip, I want you to come for a little walk with me. Zip nodded and immediately took flight again, soaring with ease over to Sunny, Izzy and Hitch. Pip felt an ache deep in her heart that she simply didn't understand as her mother gently nudged her away. They walked a fair distance until they were far enough from the excitement that no pony could overhear them, and far enough from the road that they wouldn't be passed by accident. When she was satisfied with their location, Queen Haven sat down in the grass and gestured with a foreleg for her daughter to do the same. Pip sat down facing her mother. Mum, please, so much has already happened today. Please, just tell me what's happening. Haven took a slow breath and then extended one wing towards Pip. I want you to do this. Pip nodded slowly, still terrified of where this conversation was going, and extended one wing towards her mother so the tips of their wings touched. I want you to look at your wing next to mine. Do you see how my feathers are sleek, 
sharp and thick? Pip nodded, lightly running a hoof over her mother's feathers. Now, it had been a long time since Pip had heard her mother sound so sad. Do you see how your feathers are soft and fuzzy? Do you see how the light shines through them? She nodded again, feeling a lump in her throat. The light doesn't pass through yours or Zip's. When you were born, Haven explained gently as if she was still a baby in her daughter's place rather than a teenaged princess. The doctor told me that you have a deformity in your wings. You grow soft down where you should have flight feathers. It's very rare, but it's been something that's affected Pegasi since the ancient days. I swore every doctor in Zephyr Heights to secrecy. So, you weren't going to tell me? The pink Pegasus had tears in her eyes, feeling like a tiny filly again as she looked up at her mother. Dearest, there was sorrow in Queen Haven's eyes, and Pip didn't even need to hear what she'd say next. She already knew she was right, but her mother spoke anyway. Before today, it wouldn't have mattered. I thought your wings were beautiful, and I named you Petals because that's what they reminded me of. Soft and delicate. Soft and delicate, Pip thought bitterly, and absolutely useless. I did as much research as I could after I found out, Haven continued. Most Pegasi with your condition were able to fly a little. They could glide, hover, and propel themselves a little with their wings. But that's about it. Your wings just don't catch the wind properly. But, I mean, if the old books are true, which I think tonight has proven, we used to be able to walk on clouds. You'd still be able to do that. Pip sniffled a little, wiping her eyes. What good is that if I can't reach them? Not knowing what else to say, Haven bowed her head. Would you like some time alone, Pip? Uh-huh. She stretched out her forelegs and rested her chin on them, laying on the ground in defeat. That should have been a red flag. Pip never wanted to be alone, but Haven left anyway. Fortunately, Zip knew her baby sister just a little better than her mother did and it wouldn't be long before Pip heard wing beats and a soft landing behind her, followed by her sister's voice. Pip? Leave me alone, Pip whimpered. Go enjoy your flying, or whatever. Instead, Zip trotted closer, before laying down beside Pip, their flanks touching. Did Mum tell you? Pip whimpered. Yeah, she filled me in. Zip was as casual as ever. Pip tried not to hate it, but every little thing hurt right now. Still, it would have hurt more if she'd made a big deal of it, and they both knew that. Mum says in the old days we could walk on clouds. I, I know she meant well, but what's that worth if I can't get up there? Who says you can't? Pip looked at her sister, shocked and angry. Mum! The doctors! Sip, magic or no, I can't fly! Sip once again put a comforting hoof on Pip's shoulder. I never said you could. I said, who said you can't get to the clouds? Come on, you really think I'd leave my baby sister behind? A soft gasp escaped Pip, followed by a whimper, and then in seconds she was sobbing into Zip's chest. She felt her foreleg gently wrap around her. When you're ready, Zip said gently, once Pip's sobs had reduced to tearful hiccups, I think I know how we can do this. He won't let me fall? Why would I? He did at my show. Pip could see the defiance in her sister's eyes. She knew Pip wanted to tell her that was different, to be standoffish. But instead, her eyes softened. Yeah, I did, and I'm so, so sorry for that. You don't have to forgive me either, but if you can trust me, I promise you, I will never, ever let you fall again. A few long minutes passed in silence before Pip spoke again. Okay, what's the plan? 
Remember when we were little and I used to give you fallback rides? Yeah? Zip spread her wings out. Stand up and hop on! After all that had happened, Pip decided this was the least ridiculous thing that had been asked of her today. She settled onto Zip's back. Okay, ready? Zip stood, then took a running start and took off, soaring into the dawning sky, feeling the wind in her mane like that again. Pip couldn't help but laugh, remembering what her mother had said about being able to glide. She stretched her own wings, delicate as petals, and they caught just enough wind to keep Pip from weighing her sister down too much. Once again, that euphoria flooded her. Maybe she was delicate, but she was flying, and that was something, at the very least. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed what you heard, please consider joining my Patreon, patreon.com slash TMFF to get early access to audiobooks and to be able to request I do a reading of what you want, provided the author approves. Thank you to artlist.io for providing the massive music and sound effect library that I have to work with. And most of all, thank you to the bronies who write the amazing stories that inspire me to make these. Fluttershy and Izzy are best ponies. I now have a Discord server where you can join in and chat with other fanfiction fans. If you enjoy what I do, you can donate to me on Ko-Fi or Links in the description.